Hey guys, it's Jonathan here from Set Sail, and today I'm going to be showing you my process for some hand drawn frame by frame animations. So, I'm currently working on a lyric video for the Rivers and Robots song Know You More. Um, making a video during lockdown has its own challenges, and obviously, we weren't able to go traveling as easily and shoot some videos that way, so we've had a bunch of shots sent in from our listeners around the world. So I wanted to combine the sort of clean imagery of these videos were being sent from around the world with something that was a little bit more rough and hand-drawn, like animation. So I really love these kind of animations. They remind me of like old flip books or the classic frame-by-frame -frame animations seen in Disney movies or early anime. So I'm aiming to create three pieces today. The first one is kind of wobbly hand-drawn typography. The second one is a frame-by-frame -frame abstract piece. And the third one is going to be some rotoscoped animation. If you don't know what that is, stay tuned. So firstly, let's jump into the wobbly typography effect. Um, I'm doing this very hand-drawn way by simply writing out the line five times in my notebook. I could get really particular about making sure these are perfect, but Basically, I'm just trying to match the width and make sure that they look pretty close. Now, once I've written out a line five times, I am taking a picture with my phone, just trying to get it in some good light so it's not got loads of shadows on it. And then I'm going to airdrop this photo onto my computer. I'm going to copy and paste that onto a new layer and make it grayscale with Command Shift U. Then I'm going to use the levels tool to just make sure that the white is fully white. And next, I'm just gonna cut and paste all of these lines onto their own layer. And then with these layers, I'm gonna set the opacity to 50%, just so I can try and align these. And I'll basically line up the text using the free transform tool. Now I'm gonna turn these layers into an animated movie using the timeline tool. I'm gonna go to Window, Timeline, and I'm gonna click Create Frame Animation. So basically down here, the first frame is whatever's in my workspace, and I'm going to set the time of this to 0.2 seconds. So once I've set the time of that, I'm going to do duplicate selected frame, and I'm going to hide one of those layers. And repeat that again, hide the next layer, and the last one there. From here I'm going to do file, export, render video. All right, and there we have our wobbly text. So I can bring this into my video editing software, set this to loop, and it'll work pretty well. Now, before I move on to my second piece, I wanted to take a minute to mention our sponsor for today's video, Skillshare. I've used this website so much. I mean, when I was a full-time designer, I'd do at least one class a month and just try and like sharpen up on my skills and learn some new things, stretch myself. It's always good, whatever creative field you're in, to like push yourself creatively and like try out new things. Whether you're a beginner, just curious whether you're professional working creative, there are classes on here to fit your schedule and your skill level. Most of them are under 60 minutes and they include projects where you can actually submit work and get feedback from other creatives, other people on the same class. And these classes are amazing. Honestly, there's things on there from branding to t-shirt design to animation, filmmaking, music, pretty much anything you can think about in the creative world. One of my favorite classes on there was the Definitive Guide to T-Shirt Design and Manufacturing by Jeff Staple. It's just such a thorough look at the whole process and so many techniques in there that I use when we're designing our own merch. And here's the deal, guys. If you're interested, you wanna go learn and explore, the first 1,000 subscribers to click the link in our video description will get two months free of Skillshare to take as many classes as you want. So make sure you go check that out. Thank you so much to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. All right, for my next animation, I'm gonna be doing a frame by frame animation using Adobe Animate. I haven't used this one before. It seems relatively similar to how I remember Flash, but you might have another app that you prefer. After Effects, I know a lot of people use for animation or Blender, but honestly, this is just the most familiar to me, so. Okay, so my process here is very simple. I'm gonna be drawing things with the brush tool in black and uh, once I draw a frame, I press F6 to make a new frame, I delete the past drawing and I do a new one. One of the most important features here is the onion skin feature, which means that I can see an outline of what happened in the frames earlier, which means that I can just match it up and make sure that things are lining up correctly and just judge how much things are moving by as well. Um, there's a couple of like laws of animation, if that's the thing, with regards to speed, so when things move, it's quite cool to have them kind of start fast and slow down. Um, gives it a more kind of fluid, elastic kind of motion. 
and that's really just thinking about how many frames things are taking to happen. So maybe at the start there's a lot of movement that takes place over just a few frames and towards the end there's a lot of frames of very gradual movement which will make things move in a fluid way. But you know, it's kind of a long process. You just put a podcast on, listen to an album and just draw away. So lastly, we're going to create a rotoscope piece. Um, rotoscoping is an animation style created by drawing over video footage as a reference. It ends up with this kind of strangely realistic but not real look um, because it is based on a real piece of video or like real movement that happened. So I'm creating a simple animation of a hand opening and closing. Uh, I don't really know why, but I just think it'll look cool. So I'm going to shoot this video on my phone, literally just going to shoot this movement. Again, I'm going to airdrop this over to Flash, I mean Adobe Animate. Once I import this file, I'm going to put it on the bottom layer, I'm going to lock that layer, then I'm going to add a second layer with a white rectangle set at 50% opacity, and then a third layer which will not be locked, and that's where I'll be doing my frame by frame animation. From here, it's just a case of drawing over each frame. This stage is kind of boring, but it's weirdly therapeutic for me, I don't know. There's something nice about just a really repetitive task. I can just get lost in this for a couple of hours. And after the drawing's done, I will hide the two layers underneath and see how it looks. I might want to go in here and there and tidy up some parts, but maybe even adjust the timing slightly, but I think that works pretty well. So that's some of my process. And guys, I'm at the very early stages of creating these animations, so I'm going to be making these for a little while longer and putting this video together. But if any of you are feeling inspired and you know you want to try this out for yourself, I'd love to have some more animated pieces to work with. So feel free to create your own hand-drawn loops of some beautiful things. And you can send those to me at hello at riversandrobots.com. And if I like them, I will put them in the actual lyric video. So you guys can play a part in this video. But if you're watching this after August 2020, by which point the video will hopefully be done. so. Please don't keep sending me animations for many years to come. Um, but of course you can just use these techniques for your own projects too and hopefully you've enjoyed something of seeing behind the scenes of how this is done. Maybe learn some tips for your own projects. That's all for today and we'll see you soon in another video.